What's up guys? All right, Trello position. Um, if you were to ask me, say, three to five years ago, I would say Trello is the number one GM on single leg defense. Uh, and here's the problem sometimes with popularity. It got so popular that everyone figured out, I have to learn how to defend this. And there are some ways that it's kind of easily defensible if he's, if he's attacking my legs. Um, it does also stop him, so it's, it's worth knowing. And then obviously the payoff for a Trello is generally a cradle on a pin. So that, that's really, really, really positive. Um, so I'm gonna just cover basics of the Trello. I do the Trello, the entirety of it, everything in our Scrambly DVD, which you can also check out on Fanatics. Um, but let me hit a few basic points and also tell you why it's being countered more frequently and then what other opportunities that opens up, right? Because every time he has to respect one thing, that means he can't, maybe he can't be covering another base. So if I know where else to go, it's gonna be positive. So he's on a single leg. So like I talked about with the hip tip DVD, uh, hip tip segment is right away, he might be keeping this back a little bit, right? No, it's like it pulled back, it's a little bit. And he doesn't even need to be that far back, right? But if he's up here, I'm gonna be able to lock a cradle there, right? When I, when I slide off of my trail position here, I can lock the cradle. Please rotate sides so you can see that. Another angle too. Right, so right here, if this thing is in more, I can slide here, I can crunch here, and I can lock my cradle up. So one of the things I'm seeing a lot of guys in college will do is they're just sliding this back slowly, right? They're able to stay straight. So now if I go here, I have no chance of locking my, deep, uh, my, my cradle up because it's just too far, right? There's just too much between his head and his leg, okay? So that's the big thing I'm seeing. But, so now if we go back to the hip tip, right? This actually makes my hip tip super easy, right? Because he's putting his defenses back here. So now hip tip becomes really easy because his leg is back. So that's why I said the hip tip is probably more popular and prevalent. And I think a big part of that reason is people have such a respect for the trail position because they know the trail position can end up in a cradle and a pin potentially, um, that they're taking that leg back right away and then it's giving uh, the opportunity for the hip tip. So I think those things work together. And so I said, um, you know, it's important to know all the moves because, and then know what moves open up because they're defending other moves, right? The big, big part of us is understanding what opportunities we have based on what look our opponent's giving us. Okay, so let's talk about the trail, not the, what happens if, you, if this leg is in, right? Trail position, and you can, again, you can go to Scramble DVD for the entirety of this. I'll give our basic trail. He's on a single leg. I'm sliding off. This one's not holding tight. That's where a lot of people make mistakes. This one's just kind of sliding around, holding me, holding me on here loosely. Boom, right there. Again, my hip is going to the mat over here. This one's sliding in here. And then boom, I'm gonna roll through right there for a cradle. Okay. Um, now the other thing that's happening a lot, uh, a lot because people have more awareness of this move is a lot more people are coming up to their knee to finish. So let's just talk about that real quick. So that goes to this, it'd be easier to see probably from right here. Okay, so I go here and I go here. Okay, well, if Pat knows I'm trying to roll through and he just pushes his butt away from me, what's gonna happen? Okay, so come back on the line of the Boom, boom, he pushed there. Then this hand's gonna pop out. And he can catch me on my back. Boom, just like that, right? Okay, so the butt moves away from me. I know I can't roll him through. He's gonna have a good enough base. I just gotta pop up quick. This is a hard movement. When I teach this one at camp, it does become really difficult for people to get this. Get some core strength. I, I have faith you guys can get it, okay? So, boom, here. Look, look, right here, I get the cradle, he pushes away. I slide up like that. Boom. Boom. Right there. Okay, so that without without a partner, this, this motion is kind of weird, right? It's you're here, okay, you have the cradle locked up, and now you need to do like, it's like a lift here, and then you're pulling your knee up. So I'm lifting, pulling my knee up, and then boom, now I'm here, and I'm gonna go perpendicular, right? His body should be going straight, 90 degree angle, into this leg, and take him over. Okay, let me show that one more time. So this is another thing. Let's start maybe from right here. Let's see how this looks. Okay, I go here, I get the cradle locked up and he pushes his butt away. So immediately I follow him up with my knee and now I'm gonna take him perpendicular, so straight over this leg, that direction. Okay, so 
Um, I think I noted probably the two most important changes that are happening in the trail position. And a lot of it is uh, because of it becoming more prevalent, more people are having an understanding of how, how they should be defending at least the basic positions. So if that leg is back right away, it's probably a bad idea to go to the trail position, but it opens up a hip tip, okay? If we go to the trail and we get our cradle, I think it's relatively likely they push their butt away. And so in that case, it's important that I follow them up to my knee and take them over my knee because I'm not gonna be able to roll through. So if you wanna see the rest of the trail position, um, you can go to the scrambling DVD that Max and I have together on the Finax page um, because I, you know, that's a, it's a really long series and I wanna show the basics here. Uh, but I want to I want to keep moving on other single.